Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we look at local database with SQLite inside the Xamarin.forms application. We achieve this by using the Visual Studio 2019 IDE. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So SQLite is a C language library that implements a small, fast, self-contained, high reliability and full-featured SQL database engine. It is the most used database engine in the world. And what is really a Xamarin.forms? So Xamarin Forms or Xamarin.forms is an open source cross-platform framework from Microsoft for building an iOS Android and Windows application with .NET from a single shared code base. So enough of loaded talking, so let's get to the proper stuff, right? So we get started by creating a new project. So as you can see, I've actually got our Visual Studio 2019 open. So we get started by clicking on the create a new project. So on the, on the, on the platform side here, yeah, we could select um, Android or iOS, whatever that we select, there we can, there we get this project, Xamarin.forms, that's what we're going to use. So you select the Xamarin.forms, you click on the next. So here, obviously, you can configure the app details, but we're not going to look too much into that. So we're just going to click on the create. So here, obviously, you can select whatever template that you want to use, right? So you can actually choose the fly out template or the tapped or the blank, which, which we are actually going to use. So once we select the blank template, yeah, then we uncheck the iOS as I don't have any device to actually run it. So we're just going to check just the Android, but obviously you can check the Windows and the iOS if you want. So once you check this back, whatever box that is applicable to you, then um, you click on the create. So as you can see here now, we've actually got the, the project or the solution created with some project inside here. Yeah? So we've got the app for and the app for the Android, which this this um, the Android part, yeah? And then the app for is the main app that will be shared among the other devices, right? So what we do is we, we right click on the solution and then manage new get packages for solution. Yeah, so once this part is open, then we click on the browse, yeah? So we're just gonna select SQLite-net-pcl, right? So once you, once you type in this bit here, then you, you, get, you select the first one, yeah, it's obviously here, then you're going to select what projects that you want to store there. You can click on the first one to store them in all the projects, install them in all the project, or you can select a particular project that you want to install them in. So once you've selected what is applicable to you, then we click on the install. So here we can accept all the, the licensing stuff. So now we've actually got our installation successful. So what we do is um, uh, we're just going to click, I mean, um, close this bit here. So we expand the app projects and we right click it. So we add a new folder. We're going to call it models. And we add another folder. Um, another folder inside this app new folder and we're going to call it data so first inside the the models folder we're going to add in a new cl a class and we're going to call this class message 
message. So it will be message.cs. So what we do is we're going to make this method um, a public. Yeah, so what we do next is um, we put this attribute. This will be our primary key attribute. This will be the SQLite namespace and we're also going to use some um, auto increments right so first so we add a new property we're just gonna make this one id so we're gonna put another property and uh, we're gonna make the data type string and this will be um the content of the message we're just gonna make it that way and we're gonna put one more string data type and we're gonna call this um timestamp right so this is all we're gonna need for this class right so we come inside uh the data i mean the data folder and we add a new class and we're going to call this class um, sample data. So we're going to make this one as, um, a public class as well. So here, what we do is I put a read only uh, SQL like. async connection and we're going to call this one the database so we put in a new constructor so the constructor we are going to have a, a parameter string this will be the database path so we're just going to name it d path yeah so we're just going to put a database we're going to set it to a new instance of this and we're going to put a path inside then we're going to put our database dot create table async so we're going to create table message and then we're gonna wait yeah so that's what we're gonna do for here for now so as you can see yeah, it's nothing really fanciful right so what we do is async we're going to put this um so this will be a task and take the list um message right so we're gonna say get messages so that's what the method this method will be there we, ha we declare new variable message this will be await so going to await uh, the, the, the database dot table so we get the message table and we get that to list async So now we can check if the message if we is empty the messages dot any
So if it's empty, then we're gonna add a couple, a couple message. I mean, message to the database table. So we're gonna say database dot is set to all. Is set all async. So we're gonna say new message. But this will be array. So we can put in a couple of messages inside, right? So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna say new message So ID is it really we're just gonna set the ID, right? And the contents this will be first sickle light Xamarin. So I will just Xamarin forms dot forms. Yeah. And the timestamp, we're gonna make a um, daytime dot UTC now. So we convert it to a full time. So we cannot do that in here. So we're just gonna put it to string. Yeah, so we convert it to a full daytime, yeah. So what we do is we're just going to copy this one here. We copy it, put a comma here, then we paste it, uh, we make this part number one, that's two, and we can say second, and then we leave the rest as it is. So what we do is we return uh, return await database dot table. So it's the message, yeah. So you can say to list async, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do here for now. So what we do next is we come inside uh, the the app dot saml. We come inside the back the back code. Yeah, so here, this is what we're gonna do. We declare this um, static um, sample data. So this will be the database. Then we, we put in um, this property. So we're gonna put in a public sample data database, yeah? So, grab our gets. So, we say if database is now Then this we set the database, right? Is equal to and then this the environment is a path which is under system.io. Path dot combine. So inside here we say environment dot 
get for the path yeah so in here this is what we're gonna put um, environment dot special folder dot local app application data yeah so here this is what we're gonna put so so we're gonna name the database sample db dot db3 so the extension is db3 yeah so this is what we're gonna do just gonna so here we can return the database yeah so that's all we're gonna do for here so this is what we will do here next so we come inside a uh, main dot xaml so there's one one thing that we're gonna change here so it's, it's this label welcome to xamarin dot forms yeah we're not gonna change anything but we're just gonna set um, the name so we're just gonna call it message yeah so right after that then we're gonna actually rebuild rebuild a project so now we've got a rebuild succeed I mean succeeded so we open the back code on the main page yeah so this is what we will actually do so we, we actually subscribe to this event um, it's protected are we I mean override this method override on appearing yeah so we're just gonna make it override async void yeah so after just the based on appearing this way we, we declare variable m for the message is equal to await app dot database dot data so I'm just gonna check if there's something okay so once we come inside the app here yeah, we I, I, um, I should make it static here yeah so we come back here again so we should get the app dot database yeah and then we can actually get the get messages method yeah so this is what we're gonna do is if you may recall the message the name that we pulled so we can actually change it to m dot first or default dot content yeah so we can use the conditional access here just to check for no so as you can see here now so what we do is just gonna run it to see what actually comes out so I'm just gonna pause it while the whole thing runs so as you can see here now the database is actually created and we're able to retrieve the data so actually put that here so as you can see it's not very difficult so you can actually go ahead and explore it further but on my next video on this topic here yeah, i'll actually make a crude yeah i'll make a crude yeah the create read update and delete with with the xamarin dot forms yeah so once again if you haven't subscribed make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and i hope you have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are Peace.